so I guess you want waist bead videos so here we go product links will be in the description and timestamps are available so you can jump to where you need to I got these beads off of Amazon it comes in a pack with several and I just picked the colors that I wanted and they just happened to be the red gold and green looking um, raster colors that's why I say it's raster colors and not raster waist beads no religious affiliation this is the string I used which is um, likened to fishing line illusion string it's the same difference this is everything I used to get started make substitutions where necessary my name's Janelle if you're new here and welcome back lovelies now the first part of this video is just showing you how I constructed the waist beads. You're going to start by adding a clamp or tie a little knot at the end, a slip knot, just so the beads won't fall off at the other end. You're just going to thread the string through the bead in your desired pattern after you've picked your desired colour. So the next part that's coming up soon will be the colour. So I'll break up each colour and the scientific and spiritual meaning behind all of those. After the colors, I'm going to show you how I secure the beads and I used a lobster clasp or lobster claw um, clasp this time, whatever it's called. I used that to close it so I'm going to show you how I did it. Of course I decided to use a raster pattern to construct the waist bead but you know you can adjust it any way you want. I selected the colors that I chose for these waist beads today just based on what I'm going through currently and what energy I want to grasp as many of us know that color does affect us scientifically we use color to navigate through life advertisers use color to convince us to purchase their products and services so color is very important through the centuries but color has been used to identify different tribes and status of you know noblemen kings queens you know our everyday lives are affected by colors, whether we are able to see them or not. The first color I selected was black. Now, lots of people think of the occult, death, mourning, just darkness when you hear the color black. But just like a coin and my Gemini sun, black comes with two sides. So on the other side of the negative aspects of black, we um, can use black stability it's a color of grounding and with this current metamorphosis I'm going through um, I really do need that stability you will find that colors overlap and their energetic qualities such as grounding for instance I have red here for grounding and green can also be used to stabilize you black is an achromatic color void of light it brings balance and that's why I use that as a accent color to my raster waist beads. On the contrary, you could use white to amplify the colors you already have in your waist beads. So these raster waist beads can go either way energetically depending on your accent color selected. But you can also opt not to do an accent color and just do the colors that you enjoy. So again, add in black. To your waist beads that provide power protection and strength with its absorbent qualities it helps to quiet the colors next to it just like when you're wearing an outfit if everything's bright you wear black it does silence it bring the brightness of the outfit down red is a very attractive and dominant color often associated with anger and aggressiveness it's the most contradictory color of the spectrum, also associated with love. On the spiritual side, it offers stability, strength, courage, and learning to let go. Now, once you've made it to your desired length, you can go ahead and work on the closure. So that's what we're doing here now. I've decided to use um, the lobster class claw to close these waist beads here. These also can be found on Amazon. These are gold plated and it comes with three in a pack. I've already used one, that's why you only see them two. Because they don't come with crimp covers, I use these finishing beads accessories just to give the waist beads a nice finish and to cover the crimps. Now these are crimps that I've previously had. 
but I am looking for better quality. For this, all you'll need are some scissors and the needle nose pliers. Now you're gonna select your first end to add your lobster claw. Remove that ring first and set it aside. You're gonna need that next. You first thread on your finishing bead, followed by your crimp, and then you'll end up putting that lobster claw on right behind the crimp. If you feel as if you're getting value from this video, please like it. And if you want more waist speed videos, tell me what type in the comment section below. Now, once you add the lobster claw, you're just going to bend the string and thread it back through the crimp and then again through the crimp cover slash finishing bead. I attempted a knot under the crimp cover before closing the crimp. It's optional if you want to try that. I just wanted extra security and to see if it would make a difference. Applying a knot to the other end may be a bit more challenging only because you need to hold the waist beads taut as you are closing them and doing both is difficult so you may want to opt out doing that on the other end or you can attempt to like I did you'll see what I did to secure it though so now once you've tied your knot you are just going to slide your crimp cover over the knot and then squeeze down on it to secure it with your needle nose pliers I feel as though the knot provides a little more girth for the crimp to securely hold on to Again, if you are new here, my name is Janelle. I make waist speed content and similar content to this. So if you're interested, take a look at my playlists I have on my channel. Hang around, stick around, subscribe. All you're gonna do is put the string back through the finishing bead and I tend to go down a few beads before um, knotting it again just for extra security. So that's what you're seeing me do right now. I'm just gonna thread through a few beads and I do the same on both sides. So, so the rest of this doesn't really need much explanation just because I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side as I did on this side. Just going to add the finishing bead, your crimp, then your hoop. Then you string it all back through again and you know secure it with your knots. But I think this is the most effective way just to make sure that these wired waist beads stay secure. Yellow. Yellow and gold have similar property. Most of us know that yellow is used for abundance and creativity. Yellow is also a color for developing your personal power and self-esteem. Yellow is a color that wakes up your analytical brain so you'll Think more logically as well as the creative side again so yellow just brightens up your whole life <laughs> so yellow does brighten the mind yellow is a take action color it provides balance and commitment and I am committed to making more videos and staying consistent so I'm hoping you're enjoying the uploads recently lovelies if you are give me a thumbs up Yellow seems to be among the favorites when it comes to selecting colored waist beads. And lastly, green. Green is present on these waist beads to help me with my spiritual awareness. Green is the color of love and your Anahana chakra is green, for the West at least. I have added green to assist with grief. So if you are grieving, green is a good color to add to waist beads. Green is for love, compassion, empathy, forgiveness, harmony, and communication. Green is a very calm and nature-driven color. Green has been proven to increase creativity, and because of its calming effect, it is used in medical facilities to help to reduce stress. And now these beads are pretty decent for the price point. I would have liked a little more shine. I want it to be glistening when I'm out in the sun. But these are fine and I really do like how they came out. I have a feeling that Rasta waist beads are going to be a popular one again this summer. Especially after the release of the Bob Marley movie. Well lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Also let me know again what videos you want to see. Are there any particular colors you want me to hone in on? Because I personally want to do a video talking about the 
colors um, I'm fascinated it just scientifically spiritually just what color does on your emotions it really gets me nerding out learning more and more about color so if you're interested I can really delve deep into some of the colors let me know will you be going ahead and making your own rust away speeds or something similar or do you have a better way to affix the clasp onto the waist bead? You can share that in the comment section and help everybody else out. I like to learn from all sources, so you'll be adding to this community, which is very much welcome. So I hope this video is clear enough for you to see how I attach the clasp. If you want a more detailed, slowed down version, I can do that as well just let me know in the comment section as you saw I did go back through the first set of beads and I'm tying the knot midway in the string I feel like it's a bit more secure when I tie it firmly there as opposed to um, at the top or the end where the clasp is just more security tighten as many times as I can and then I just go ahead and snip off the excess once I know that it's fully secure so that is it lovelies I again I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions put that in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you thank you all for your support um, the encouragement does help I see all of your comments and I appreciate them you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are you take care love you bye